Alright, welcome back. This video we're going to do sound effects. And the uh, first thing we're going to do before we do sound effects, we'll actually fix that when you loop through that it doesn't play the music again using a singleton. So let's go back to Unity. Uh, these are two sound files I got out of my collection too that I'm going to use for um, one for the missile shooting, uh, one for us shooting the player missile, and then one for the actual explosion. I don't think we need any other sounds. The original game didn't even have music, just some basic sound, so that should be more than enough. Uh, so let's go to our script here, and for music manager. So singleton patterns, just basically going to check and make sure there's only one copy of a, a script or a game object, however you want to look at it. Uh, so to do that, we just use a public static music manager. And we call it instance. And then what we'll do is void awake instead of start, just so it's called earlier. And we're going to do if instance equals null, instance equals this. So basically, if nothing exists already for instance, then this is going to be it. And then we're going to take this and put this here as well. And then we're going to do else destroy game object. So if it's not this copy, then destroy it. So basically on the second run through, uh, it'll start up and awake. It'll see this one. It'll see it already exists. So it'll hit this and just destroy it. And the reason you do it in awake, if you did it in start, you'll probably hear like a little clip of the sound start before it gets destroyed because uh, other things will start processing before it actually calls start, whereas awake will be one of the first things called. So let's just test that out quick. That should be fine, but we always want to make sure. Okay, so the game started, music's playing. Go through, we'll let it die. Almost over. And we're gonna speed these up too. Okay, so let's start over. Okay, and there, we don't hear it at all, so it's good. And yeah, you know what, let's do that before we forget here. Uh, Cause they're a bit slow in the real game, they were really fast. I think that speed was on here. Let's try maybe 7.5. Let's try this. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. I think the actual game might have even been a bit faster, but that'll be good for for now. We can we can tweak that better later. Okay, so let's go back. I'm just going to move these scripts into the scripts folder. For the sounds here, I'm going to make a Make a folder music. We'll put the music in there. Make a folder sound effects. We'll put these guys in here. Okay, let's go in there. Okay, and what we're going to do, let's go to. So, cursor controllers. We could make a like a sound manager and have this call it, but I think I'm just going to put it right in here since it's such a simple game. Let's just do it here. So I'm just going to do serialized field private audio clip and I'm going to call it missile shoot sound. Okay, and then in here after we call player fired missile just going to do audio source dot play one shot. Oh, I thought that would should be here. Hmm. That should be here. Yeah, I'm going to look into that later. I'm not sure why that's 
not there, but you know what? We don't actually need to do this since we're only going to put one sound on here. Let's just go to the script and we'll Oh, we gotta be in the, the game. So let's go to scenes, game, main camera. Okay, so we have this, you know what? Let's just put an audio source on here and we'll put the sound since there's only gonna be one sound. So let's, sorry, these are probably pretty loud on the recording. I'm gonna use, this one is the, we'll call this missile shoot. And we'll call this missile explode. Okay, so on here we're going to add missile shoot. We don't want play on awake. We don't want loop. I'm going to set the volume to 0.25 again. And then in our script, what we can do is we can do an audio source, my audio. And then in start, we'll just get a reference to it. So my audio equals get component audio source. And then we'll just say audio source dot play. Oh, sorry, my audio. Dot play. Okay. So this should work. Let's try this. Okay, and that volume is probably okay. Okay, and then the missile explode. I believe that should be here. The missile explode. You know what, we're only gonna have the one sound, so we're gonna do the, the same thing on here. So we're just going to do, you know what, we can just go into cursor controller, copy this, paste it, copy this, put this in start, and then here we can just, oh, just gonna do it up here, my audio dot play. So we just got to go into the prefabs, open the enemy missile, go here, make missile explode, and drag it onto here. Might have to scroll up a bit. Not sure why it's not letting me do it there. Should, but okay, we'll just add it in here. Put our sound effects. Missile explode. Okay, so it's on there now. No play on awake. Volume 0.25. Just add this to the prefab. Get rid of this guy. And let's try it. No, let's try it right from the main menu scene. Just see how it levels work with our background. Hmm, that's not plain. Oh, did we add that to the wrong? You know what? I'm not, I'm not sure what I missed here. It's probably something small and stupid, but you know what? Either way, I thought of something even easier. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that, get rid of this. Basically, we're just removing what we changed on here. And we're just gonna add the sound to the missile explode. Okay, we got that, and we're gonna leave it as play on awake. So then anytime this missile spawned, or this explosion is spawned, it is going to make the sound.
Yeah, that's just makes the game feel a bit better actually having sounds. It might still be a bit loud, but for now, that's good. Okay, so we got that going. Uh, we'll continue on in the next video.